Let's see. <laughs> and all that jazz. Okay. Our goal today is to be able to balance these type of reactions. Sound good? Okay, so take out wherever you were on your notes yesterday. Uh-oh, what's wrong? Oh, yeah, I unplugged that. Shoot. That was harder than it should have been. Okay. Are we ready? Good answer. So, I'll be down here. probably best if you start doing this near the top of a page. All right. Because these, I don't know. I don't know if they take a lot of room or not, but they're not. Good. Aiden's also rocking this class. I am right. Okay, so here we go. Yesterday we did the charges and we were able to determine what was oxidized and reduced, correct? Okay, so then we take their half reactions and write them. So hold on, here we go. So the oxidation half reaction was C2O42 minus going to CO2. These are annoying, I can see. See like this. It's not going to let me do that. I don't really understand why. Okay. Putting this the way it really should look. You okay with that? That that, that looks hideous. He's already done. That's my boy. Um, all right. So this is your half reaction. We are now going to balance it. Okay. So coming this way, it says, oh, it was right here. To balance the carbons, we put a coefficient of 2. So this is your half reaction. So step number one that we wrote yesterday was to balance anything besides H and O, correct? Okay, so the very first thing I did, I put the 2 in front of CO2. Good so far? All right, now the carbon is balanced. So next, um, that also took care of the oxygen. It is also balanced. So the next thing to do to balance the charge, we must add two electrons on the right side. So please notice what I mean by the charge. So this is C2O4, um, 2 minus, and over here it was just 2CO2. This is the charge. On the left, it's a total of minus 2. On the right, currently, it was nothing. So we must electrons because the charges have to be equal on both sides as well. You okay with that idea? Okay. So, so far, we're looking okay. Okay, now underneath this, or next to it, wherever you have room, you're also going to do the other one, which was MnO4 going to Mn plus 2. which would really be written Mn O4 negative 1 going to Mn plus 2. OK. 
Okay, so you can see up here the manganese is balanced. To balance the oxygen, we follow the rules that say you add water to the opposite side to balance the oxygen. So plus 4 H2O. Okay. Now, I can do this because oxidation and reduction reactions, especially these that we would be balancing, they're happening in solutions. So there's water, H plus, and OH freely available to make this work out. So I'm not just making up water. It's happening in a solution. Okay, now, by adding water, it took care of the O's, but then all of a sudden I have a problem I need to fix now. I have to fix H's. So the next step to do is to add the H plus to the opposite side. So that's where this eight H plus comes from. It's because this is happening in an acidic solution. MnO4 minus goes to Mn plus 2 plus 4 H2O. Now, every element is balanced but we do have a major problem now. The charge is definitely out of whack, correct? So if you look, good job, we have eight pluses and one minus, so this side's a plus seven. You all right with that? Okay. This side over here is a what? Plus two, is that equal? No. So we're going to have to add electrons, which will be the next. So we now add five electrons to the left side, because seven minus five is a positive two. So we have five electrons plus eight H plus plus MnO4 minus goes to Mn2 plus whatever plus four H2O. 2 plus and plus 2 are slightly different, but they are completely interchangeable. Plus 2 is the charge something is. 2 plus is its oxidation number, which they're pretty much the same, but they're, they're not. <laughs> but it doesn't really matter for all we're doing. You would never get it marked wrong for writing it either way. Okay, now this is completely balanced. And the other half is completely balanced, so the next step is to combine stuff. So now we evaluate the two half reactions together. So you would have this one on in your notes somewhere, and you have this one in your notes somewhere, right? Okay, there was still more we have to do. We have to have the same amount of electrons on both sides of the arrow. Uh, I shouldn't put it that way, in each half reaction. So here we go. And you can read it right here. But in order for 5 to equal a 2, they both have to equal a 10. So you're going to take everything here and multiply it by 5. Then you're going to take everything here and multiply it by 2. And we do that part once again to make the electrons able to cancel each other out. Okay, so next slide. Combining the half reactions, then we get all this jazz. Ten electrons plus 16H plus plus 2MnO4 minus, plus 5C2O42 minus, goes to 2Mn plus 2 plus 8H2O plus 10CO2 plus 10 electrons. <laughs> See why I had you put this on a new piece of paper? Well, we will cancel the stuff out. That's the next part.
<laughs> That's cold water. Think of, think of how loud that must be in his room. Because that's got out his door, taken a right turn, down the hall, taken a left turn, and come to us. That's amazing power. That, that guy could have been in productions. All right. Oh, those are so disgusting. I thought it was a little yeah, he played the faculty basketball game with it, and I about lost him. Yeah, so yeah, it's disgusting. All right, the final step is to cross out anything or reduce some things. Like, there isn't one, but in the top, if there was like, six waters, you would reduce it to two waters on the right side. But the only thing here we can cancel out is our electrons, right? So the overall balanced reaction for this would be 16H plus plus 2 MnO4 minus plus 5 C2O4 2 minus goes to 2MN plus 2, I keep doing that whenever I go, <laughs> plus 8H2O plus 10CO2, and we're done. And then we're done. Okay. Well, that was fun. Yeah. What, what's another word for it? What I what? Well, they cancel each other out. Okay, and then you mega screwed up. Okay. Because <laughs> they have to come from somewhere and they have to go somewhere. Okay, this is just the same thing we just wrote. Yeah. Here's the truth. If these are in the multiple choice section, guess and move on. They're they are not worth your time, even remotely worth your time. This will take you two minutes to do, and you have a 95% chance of getting it wrong anyway. So, but if it's in the free response section, you should definitely do it. Because, it's, yeah, it's worth way more, and you have more time. But, yeah, if it's a multiple choice, don't waste your time. Sound good? Okay, here we go. Will you try this one from step one and on, all by your lonesomes? Follow the rules, follow what we just did. Okay, so here we go. The very first thing we would have found is that this went, this was a zero, right? You with me? Okay, this is a G, not a number, by the way. But over here, it was a what? Minus 1, right? Okay. And then we would have seen that N went from a plus 2 to a plus 5, correct? Okay. So now we would have, uh oh, yes, sir. How did I get CL was a minus 1? Oh, you're right. It is a plus one. It's a plus one, right? Thank you. It is a plus one. Because H is a plus one. O is a minus two. So CL has to be a plus one. <clears throat> Thank you for checking me on that. Okay, so 
we now know that Hochul changes. So our original thing, we would have just written right here. And then we would have gone from there. Are you with me? And then NO went to NO3. So in these green brackets are our original half reactions. To know which is which. If you... Just to know which things oxidized and reduced, so I know what my half reactions are. Well, you guessed well. Well, it makes sense right now, but some of them won't be as obvious as that. Okay, so then we would have gone on our adventure of fixing all this stuff, right? So the first thing, I'll do it in black, that we would have done. You, we would have put this two right here, correct, to balance the chlorines. The next thing we would have done is to balance the O's by adding the two waters. You good so far? The next thing we would have done is balance the H's by putting four H plus. Uh oh, what are, oh, there was already two. Sorry, there were two already, so I had to put the two H pluses. Okay, then the final thing I needed to do was to fix the charge, all right? I had zero charge over here, correct? I had plus two, I don't know why I'm putting a zero, plus two over here, but we can't, we can't add plus two on the right, we have to add the, put the two electrons over here. And then we would have, had that balanced by mass and by charge. Is everyone okay with those pieces so far? Okay, good. Then we come over here. The N would have been our first step, but it was already balanced. So then we add the waters. Now there was one O, there was three, so there was two O's, which means we had to add two waters. Then we had to fix the four H's right here by putting four H plus over here. Okay, and so we did that, and life was good. There was nothing else to fix except for the charge now. Over here, we had a negative 1 plus a 4, and over here we had a neutral charge. So we had a positive 3, so we had to add 3 electrons to get rid of that down to 0. Okay, then let's come back to green. Then we had my two half reactions, but the electrons have to equal. If we have a 3 and a 2, then we have to make both of them 6. So we had to multiply the entire top one by 3 and the bottom one by 2 to get 6 of the electrons. So then you rewrite the entire equation down here. And that's what's in red. So after we did all the math, we got 6 electrons, 6 H+, plus, plus 6 Hochul, plus 4 water, plus 2 NOs. Go to 3 chlorines, plus 6 waters, plus 2 NO3s, plus 8 H+, pluses, plus 6 electrons. All right, so then we just got to crossing things out. The 6 electrons has to equal the 6 electrons, or we have to start over. The rest we're okay with. All right, so we had our 4 waters and six waters, so that just became two total waters. Are you okay with that? All right, then we had six H pluses and eight H pluses. That should be crossed out eventually. That became two H pluses just on the right. Um, and then that was the only things we could cancel out. So we're left with this, that, that, and then all this other stuff I don't feel like pointing to. Okay, we had two total people get it right, correct? Do you all see where you messed up? These are fraught with danger. What do you do if they're on the multiple choice section again? You guess and move on. Because that took us five minutes and two out of 15 people got it right. Okay, we ready? There you go. Oh, that's the same one. Here you go. That says BI plus 3 right here. 
balance the following equation in an acidic solution. All right, we'll pause it. Okay, because we had 8 over here, 15 over here, so that leaves 7 on the right. Um, let's see, our electrons definitely better cancel out, 10 and 10. Good. Um, and our, our H plus should simplify. We have 30 over here, 16 over here, so 14 H plus, right? Thank you. Um, red garbage. Whoa. Okay. Better? Okay. And there was nothing else to simplify, was there? So 2 MN plus 2, plus 14H plus, plus 5BIO3 minus, that was ugly, goes to 2MNO4 minus, plus 5BI, oh, that's supposed to be BI, plus 3. Okay, who had that right? 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 4, 7. We're almost up to half. Of you. Okay. Okay, uh, that's your last one right here for practice. So try this one. Okay, just notice that a, that's a negative 1, not a 4 minus. 